Hi everyone, it's Gina from Gina K Designs and welcome back to another quick video. This one's a little more than five minutes, but I think it's worth the watch. Today I'm going to be using the Forever Stamp Set by Lisa Hetrick. I'm going to begin by getting my Misty and then I'm going to use a piece of cardstock that measures three and a half inches by four and three quarter inches. I'm going to use my embossing magic pad on this because I'm going to do some heat embossing. And I'm going to use some of the Gina K Designs embossing and watermark ink. I'm going to ink up the big chicken wire circle with embossing and watermark ink. And then I'm going to stamp it and I'm going to use my Chucky tool to put a little bit of pressure on it to make sure I get good contact with the paper. Okay. So now I'm going to use some of the Gina K Designs Fine Detail Silver Embossing Powder. And this is going to make it look a lot like chicken wire. Now, if you don't want to emboss, you can skip this step for a faster card and just stamp it in a gray ink like Stormy Sky or Soft Stone. All right, so now I am going to get my heat tool. I use the Wagner heat tool and I'm gonna heat this up. I'm gonna just let it warm up for a little bit and then I'm gonna heat emboss this. And I'm not gonna make you watch this whole part because this is a little bit loud. All right, and you can see now that's nice and shiny and looks a lot like metal. Looks just like chicken wire. All right, my next step is to take a small piece of cardstock and some black ink, and I'm gonna stamp the large flower image from that same stamp set. That's the Forever Stamp Set by Lisa Hetrick for Gina K Designs. I'm gonna stamp that here on my piece of white cardstock, and I'm gonna give it just a minute to set because I'm gonna be using another dye ink on top, so I don't want it to smear. I've got some Gina K Designs sea glass ink here, and I've got a turquoise blending brush. I'm gonna ink up that blending brush, and I'm gonna just add a fine layer of ink on top of this flower. Just a little mist of ink. Okay. So my next step is going to be to do a little bit of coloring and I have an aquamarine Prismacolor pencil here. And I am going to color just along the edge of each petal with that aquamarine pencil. Now I'm not gonna make you watch this whole part because if you've seen one or two petals get colored, you know exactly what to do for all of the rest of them. You can see I'm just going around the perimeter of each of these petals. And now for the center, instead of doing every single one of these little areas, I'm just gonna scribble a little bit of Prismacolor pencil here and there. That's gonna create light and dark areas for me. Now I'm gonna blend this out using some Gamsol. This is an odorless mineral spirits made for art. I'm using a blending stump and I'm dipping that blending stump right into the Gamsol. And then using a circular motion, I'm going right over that colored pencil and bringing that colored pencil out. Now, once again, I'm not gonna make you watch me do this whole part. I'm sure a lot of you have used Gamsol before and you know how to do it. If not, and you want more extensive Gamsol coloring, I've done so many videos, I actually have a Gamsol playlist on my YouTube channel. And then as you can see for this middle part, I'm just coloring out that little bit of colored pencil, not worrying about where it's going and leaving some white spaces so that I create lights and darks in there. Okay, and that flower is colored. Now to save time for the video, what I did here was I took the dye from the coordinating die set for the Forever stamp set, and I've cut one out already, so this way that saves a little bit of time. So to assemble our card, I am going to take the chicken wire circle, and I'm going to adhere this panel onto 
a black panel. So this panel was three and a half inches by four and three quarters. This one measures three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. Now, if you're not great at cutting, you can also use the Master Layers 2 die set for this, and you'll get the exact same sizing. And then this whole panel is going to go onto a white card base. I use a little extra tape on that white panel when I'm taping it onto the black panel because of the embossing. Sometimes it can warp the paper a little bit. All right, now I'm going to be brave and I'm going to hand stamp the greetings using some black dye ink. I'm going to use the words forever and thankful. So I'm inking up the word thankful first. And I'm going to stamp it down here toward the center giving it a minute to transfer there, just a few seconds. And then I've got the forever stamp loaded up on another acrylic block, and we're gonna stamp that right in between the H and the K. Okay, so now I'm going to assemble my floral arrangement. I cut a few pieces from the foliage fillers die set, and I'm just gonna use some Gina K designs adhesive here to put all this together. So here's going to be my basic layout. Let me just tape a few of these leaves here on the back. I'm taping away from the skinny branch. This way I won't actually break any of the leaves off. And I'm going to put one up here like this, kind of sticking out over the edge. This one, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to tape this way. Now you could also use Connect Glue for this. It might be a little bit easier than using tape. And I'm going to put this one so it's kind of draped down off of the side there. And this one would definitely be better if we used Connect Glue, but for the sake of the video I'm going to use tape because that's what's close by. Okay. <laughs> and that one I'm going to have kind of coming up this way. Then I'm going to apply my flower right on there using some foam squares. I'm going to use three of them because this is a big flower and I don't want it to kind of curl over or sink in the middle or sink on the sides. So I've got these foam squares. These are the Gina K Designs and Thermoweb foam squares. You can use any foam squares you want or you can use foam tape too. That might be easier for you. And I'm going to pop that flower right here like this. And then I'm going to tape these two leaves and they go in different directions. I'm going to tape one down here and then I'm going to tape the other one right, oops, right up here like that. And there is my finished card. So it looks like that flower is sitting on that chicken wire background. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I hope you'll give this one a try. Stay tuned to my channel for more five-minute card videos, quick videos, quick technique videos, and more Stampin' Chat Live videos, too. Thanks so much for joining me, and have a great day.